market intelligence company Kantar said that iOS market share in the U.S. fell from 40.6% in the three months ending in October 2016 to 32.9% in the same quarter this year. Apple saw similar significant drops in other key markets, says the firm, as customers waited for the iPhone X to go on sale. Kantar says that the drop was inevitable, but still puts pressure on Apple. It was somewhat inevitable that Apple would see volume share fall once we had a full comparative month of sales taking into account the non-flagship iPhone 8 versus the flagship iPhone 7 from 2016, said Dominic Sunnybo, Global Business Unit Director for Kantar World Panel Comtech. This decrease is significant and puts pressure on the iPhone 10 to perform. Considering the complete overhaul that the iPhone 10 offers, consumers may be postponing the purchase decisions until they can test the iPhone 10 and decide whether the higher price, compared to the iPhone 8, is worth a premium to them. It noted that this was reflected in the percentage of iPhone owners still waiting to upgrade in October at 35.3% against 30.1% at the same time last year. The one bright spot for Apple in the quarter was China, where its share climbed half a percent to 17.4%. Apple was one of the top five brands that now makes up 91% of all sales in the country, up from 79% in the prior year. Kantar noted that other local brands were struggling, along with Samsung. Chinese brands like Meizu, LETV, Gulpad, ZTE and Lenovo were once on the same trajectory as like of Xiaomi, but any momentum they once had has abruptly stopped, with many struggling to get past a 1% share. Samsung's performance in China continues to deteriorate, with its share now down to just 2.2% of that market. The temporary lull in October is almost certainly good news for Apple, indicating strong sales of the iPhone X with its higher average selling price and greater margins. Strategy analytics last month suggested that even constrained sales in Q3 may have been enough for Apple to beat at Samsung in the US with Trendforce predicting that it will do so this quarter either way. IHS market went even further yesterday, forecasting that the iPhone 10 will set an all-time sales record this quarter, and drive a full year of growth. Check out 9to5Mac on YouTube for more Apple news.